Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Arcana World. Today is our comment review Tuesday where I get to look at last week's YouTube videos, read some of the comments, answer some questions, and just respond to some cool things. If you guys want to be in this video, leave a comment because you might get in there. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. It'd be nice. Got Monkey Jeans Group starting us off. I'm so glad you're sharing this message because there are so many scammers out there. If something is usually too good to be true, it's probably because it is. Thanks for informing your YouTube community. Well, you're welcome. I don't want to see anyone get scammed, honestly, especially in my community. I don't want to see that. Uh, I have to act like the protector or the or the parent to my community. Even the trolls in the comments section, you know, I don't want them to get tro I don't want them to get scammed either. If you're a scammer, though, shame on you. It's very bad. Uh, Raymond Quintana eight seven five nine. My friend actually found four boxes yesterday at one store marked at one forty a box. I think they got mislabeled, but they were legit, and he got them for one forty. I, you know, I'm I'm seeing that I've seen a couple of stores. I've seen some stories of this recently. Um, that's not exactly a scam, right? That's just a, a happy accident or it's just a situation that arises, right? If it's in person, there's very little risk, right? But if okay. Okay. Now, counterpoint. If you if you know what the very first wave of first chapter boosted boxes looks like, you know that you can grab packs from inside the box if you're very careful and put in dud packs. You can do that. Um, so you got to be careful for that. However, uh, it's online where you need to really be careful because you don't know the people, right? People online are strangers as opposed to your LGS where they're probably not strangers. That's an important distinction, right? Uh, Wild Barley. The scanning wasn't too bad for me until the last two weeks, but my entire selection methodology, which previously avoided scams pretty well, hasn't worked recently from the sheer explosion of scams. You got to be careful, man. Uh, and people adapt. You know, fraudsters in the world are always adapting. You see it in the banking world, for instance. Like, you guys know what money drafts are or money orders or bank drafts are? Basically, pieces of paper that are like checks that you can print out from a bank. Uh, that have that could take the money out of your account uh you know i five years ago very hard to scam those very hard to make fraudulent copies of those now it's like almost common happenstance to see that happen it happens everywhere but um something to take away from that is just develop learn the meta of what the scammers are trying to do and just pick up what they're throwing down and throw it back in their face that's the best advice i can give anyone Six face Cogsworth is clutch in all the steel matchups. Two Cogsworth in play make all the steel chip cards useless. Yeah, that's true. That's fine. In the in the um, in the uh, deck profile I did the other, not the deck profile in the deck how cheap is it I did the other day. Uh, I was mentioning Cogsworth. I'm not a big fan of the card, but if you do a problem with steel, Cogsworth does make your life easier. That is true. I don't have a big problem with steel, but that that's not all people, right? Uh, Jazz Flute. Hell yeah, baby. Been a while since we got a nice Gaston pop. It's true. It's been a while. Gaston hasn't been on the mind, but Gaston's always around, man. It is. Uh, Joel Martin, 8243. Flavor Shift has a Wamu combo? What is that? Digimon or another TCG term? Or just Super Laconaism? Either way, it made, my, made me smirk. I may use it in LGS. I think I meant to say Wombo combo. <laughs> Not Wamu combo, but uh, I, think, I think it was meant to be Wombo combo. Not, not a... Not a special term, just a, a misspeak. Just a misspeak. We have Mav1877 with a serious comment. I hear from several people that they think Lacana is failing. Although the tournament situation was bad, it was somewhat resolved by opening more slots. The spikes in the first chapter enchanted are definitely a clue to the increased collectability of TCG. I still think it's growing, as I saw a recent YouTube video where the LGS commented it was one of the popular weekly games. I could talk about for a whole video's length of a topic. If I think Lurkana is failing, I'll give you the TLDR though for today. I don't think it's failing. If anything, we're seeing the demand of the game truly rise through competitive play. Uh, plus through collectors who are eating up these enchanted rares. Um, that's the very quick answer. So no, I don't think Lurkana is failing. Uh, and I don't think... I think Lurkana is safe. I think Ravensburger has a strategy. And, and I think that everything they've done is good. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. They've made some blunders, but they've fixed the most recent of blunders. As long as they keep doing that, it's fine. But there's obviously a lot of demand in the game. So it ain't going anywhere. 
Our Fisher 3507, I just bought six Mickey Mouse Trumpeter. Great video. I'm glad you like the Mickey Mouse Trumpeter. Uh, great card, and I'm sure it'll have its day. I'm confident it'll have its day. I am. CL Bookstore. I just noticed that the first chapter booster boxes have dropped significantly. What do you think this caused this? The guy here responds, an official restock has been announced for the first chapter. So any stores that are being hosting official tournaments or we got some cases for the first chapter. This is technically accurate. Uh, stores and, ev and event holders are having access to the first chapter. Um, this isn't a restock though, like in the sense that they're printing more. Uh, I believe this is just residual product. Now, I could be wrong, but I know that from my Canadian distributor that carries Lorcana, I know that they had a lot of residual product just chilling and they are distributing it. I know that. So I don't think they're firing the printing process again. I think they're just really, really just getting their stock out there, what they have. Um, and eventually this well will run dry. So if you're interested in, in set one booster boxes, you definitely grab them now for the for whatever reason, investing or opening them, whatever. whatever. Um, but yeah, if you're if seriously want to invest it, it's a great time to do it now while it's a little bit low. Because again, in five years from now, they'll not be 200 and something dollars a box. Absolutely not. Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Check, 69.73. What kind of get interesting as more movies are artistically rendered upon, would be remarkable to get The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Black Cauldron, even Ratatouille. Yeah, the, the well runs very, very deep with what Ravensburger can use. And once that well runs out, uh, people tell me that's not going to happen. But I can see Marvel cards. I can see Star Wars cards in the game. I, I can see anything Disney owned potentially as a, as a, as a way to make itself into the card game. Now, this might be years out, but trust me, they are not anywhere close to running out of ideas. Oh, Judo, thanks for the videos that has helped me stay interested in the game and have been able to make money off some cards. These cards, that's nuts. I love the game so much, so please keep up the great work, man. Thank you. It's nice to see comments like this. Love to see people enjoying themselves and making money. Making money is really important, obviously. Finally, Kawaiza. Budget is always relative, but Red Purple is a good budget deck in this meta compared to everything else that's top tier. Second deck I think is decent is the Blue Purple that's been going around. Those two decks, depending on the build, are more or less 150. And maybe I'll cover them on the channel at some point. I'll think about it. It's very possible. Um, they're not the most viewed channels in my videos, so I don't know how long I'm going to keep doing them for. But I like making them for now. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, budget, the, the moral of the story. Budget is relative. Budget is subjective. Like for me, my budget will be way different than anyone else's budget. Will be way different from anyone else's budget, right? Your budget will alter you know, drastically if you're making uh, like five figures a year or six figures a year. Like it, it, there's so many factors that, that affect it. So you just got to do what you got to do. That's it for today's comment review. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I'll see you later. Bye.